I think that anyone, if they have the resources, they can succeed. And the biggest resource in my life has always been a great education. And so I wanted to be sure everyone, all the youth in my community, they had access to a great education. I noticed that in my local library, there were several kids every day after school that were doing their homework and possibly needed help, but didn't have the resources to find a tutor or, you know, the ability, they didn't have the ability to pay. So uh, my project was to start a free peer tutoring program twice a week and I helped kids from kindergarten to senior in high school and in all subjects. Um, I work with something called the Campaign for a Presidential Youth Council. So what we're trying to do is advocate for the creation of a federal youth advisory board for the president and that's currently a bill in the House of Representatives. So we're trying to get as many co-sponsors as possible, as many lawmakers on board so that this council can become a reality so that we can get youth engaged at the federal level and also um, involved to fight that apathy that plagues so much of our nation. I think a leader has to have passion for what he or she is doing. I also think the, uh, one of the th essential things for a leader is to be able to cooperate with others and to rationalize what is the most important thing that he or she is doing at the time and at the same time be able to negotiate with the other side. So, To be a leader for me personally has been to address specific needs in my community and to be the one to drive the solution to those needs. Um, and for me being a leader is all about seeing the optimism in the situation finding a way to solve the problem, thinking outside the box, and never losing sight of hope. Um, it's really just about, it's about your interests, about your passions. You have to find what, what really makes you want to work because once you're put in a leadership position, you, you have to go, you have to, a lot of people are looking to you and it's your responsibility to, to do what they want, what they need, and what's best for the whole group of them. So the key for me has always just been finding something that, that's meaningful to me and that from there, just, just getting fully, fully engaged in it because if it really is something meaningful, meaningful and that's why you go into it, you're gonna come out of it having led it well. Um, there's a quote that I really like that is, um, you know, some, something along the lines of, a leader's first, uh, first job is to define expectations, the second is to be a servant, and the last is to say thank you. And, um, you know, something along those lines. And I really believe in the idea that as a leader, you're not there to serve yourself or serve you know, your position, you're not there because you have a title, you're there because you're trying to help others. So you can do that in an official capacity as President of the United States or as any other elected official or anything like that, or you can do it in an unofficial capacity. And I really strive to be a servant leadership in official and unofficial uh, positions. I think when I was really young, I just started hearing the word character a lot. We would go to like these little assemblies at uh, my elementary school, Sycamore Canyon, and uh, they'd be like, character, 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 and you just kind of hear it thrown out. And so I initially assumed that character was like this kind of umbrella term, and like there's this w only one thing, like there's character is one thing, and you have to be this, this, and this to have character. And sort of like as I kind of came out of that bubble and went into high school and like saw that how different people were and like the density of like culture and all of that. Um, I started to realize that like to me character is like when you when you see inside yourself and you see the things that make you you. So I think that character to me is basically where finding where you fit in yourself first, finding your niche and where you belong and then helping others find that as well in their community so they can excel and succeed as you've done. It's really about taking your environment and incorporating that into helping the community. Well, I think on the most basic level, character is the ability to step outside of yourself and outside of your comfort zone to help other people and to make a difference that's significant to somebody else and also to recognize the best in somebody else and accept them for who they are, which in turn will make you a better person. Actually, my work at Westminster Free Clinic is probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, originally, when I joined Westminster, I thought, okay, this is a great way to see what the, what the medical field is like, am I going to enjoy it? And after being there just for a few weeks, I fell in love with the place. It, just the, um, the gratefulness that everyone is able to show there, that not just the patients are so grateful for the help they're getting, and 
The doctors are so great, so willing to help out uh, right after coming from a long shift. They're coming and they're working um, for even more. Into, like we, we work until like 11 at night and everyone has a great spirit and so open to everyone else. And I think what I really got from my experience at Westminster was seeing all these different cultures um, and being able to accept new cultures and new ideas and all the backgrounds that people come from and, and appreciating what I have in life and being able to take what I have and give to others. For a long time, service was an activity that my church was getting me involved in and there came a point in service when I realized that when I'm helping other people, it's really helping me the most because uh, come out of those service events and you just feel so positive about yourself and it makes you want to serve even more. And uh, for me, it was just spreading that ripple effect to everybody. Service has always played a pretty vital role in my life. I think uh, through the, my parents always encouraged me to, to play a more of an active role in the community. And through those experiences, I've learned a lot about myself, and I've also learned that having the actual manifestation of someone's appreciation for me is just a feeling that's completely unmatched. And I think that that just reminds me that like, I, I am fulfilling a purpose by helping others. So Baggies um, was what me and my friend Emily started, um, and basically what it entails is we fill drawstring backpacks which are donated by a friend. Uh, he makes them for my softball tournaments and he gives us about two to four hundred bags and we fill them with toiletries and necessities that homeless people need and a little Bible or small devotional and we fill um, them also with kind of like little notes. Um, our goal is to provide uh, hope to those who seem hopeless and um, we just pass them out to local homeless shelters who have been struggling like the Samaritan Center. You know, I was, I was in school one time and I had a friend in one of my classes and what actually spurred me to take up a leadership role and address a need was I saw this friend, I was volunteering at a pantry, not in a leadership role, just standard volunteering. And he, uh, a friend came to the pantry to use his services. I never knew he, he had trouble with that, his family had trouble with that. And so I wanted to do more to help the pantry and to help that region with the difficulties they had. The pantry primarily served this particular area of town. Um, and so they used volunteer vehicles to transport food um, to other communities. And so I decided to build a utility trailer so that way they could transport food more efficiently and not have to use volunteer vehicles or sometimes even renting trucks and taking money out of the food budget to do that. 